What's up, everybody? You want to learn how to make this quick, easy, cheap steak, pepper, and rice dish? Well, I suggest you stick around because it's coming up and it's delicious. I actually made it in a bowl, but you can make it however you like. <music> All right, what we're gonna start off with, of course, a little preparation for our season. I like to use onions, bell peppers, pretty much for everything that I cook, but this goes really good with steak. Um, you'll see what type of steak this is in just a moment, but first you're gonna slice those onions. Doesn't matter the thickness, it's all gonna be sauteed. This bell pepper wasn't too fresh. However, in my opinion, bell peppers don't go bad. So cut off all the bad parts that you don't need and get to slicing. Now, for some reason, I spent a lot of time slicing these bell peppers, and I tried to cut up, cut out as much of it as I could. However, here we are still cutting bell peppers, and I uh, hope you guys are having a good day. You know, these bell peppers were in my refrigerator for probably about a good three weeks, and uh, they're all right. This one is frozen. We'll get to that a little bit later. This one was a little frozen. Yeah, love that for me. All right, um, so up next, once we finally get through with that, this is the meat. It is fajita meat. It's a sirloin steak. It's pre-sliced really thin. What you want to do with this meat, of course, I always rinse my meat off. I know it's controversial. Some people don't rinse their meat, but I do. What you want to do with this particular steak is trim the fat because this fat on this steak is not chewy it's not delicious some fat on steaks is delicious like ribeye i love the fat on a ribeye however this fat is very hard and very very chewy that part i'm showing you right there especially cut those off and i decided to use kitchen shears with this because a knife would have just been way 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 too annoying there's no real rhyme or reason in the way that you want to cut it i was trying to go for little slices little pieces but it really don't matter it's all going down the same pipe honey but go ahead and just cut all of that off and again you're going to cut them into for presentation purposes, you can cut them into rectangles. Um, but this meat is really, really tender. It soaks up the seasoning really well, and it's so versatile. You can actually make it with uh, a lot of things. You can put it in a bowl, a taco, fajita. You can put it in a lot of things. So it's really versatile. It's really tender, and it's fairly cheap. I think this big pack was only about six bucks, if I'm not mistaken. So yeah there we have it there's our meat all right our meat is all cut up looking good uh now what we're gonna do is season i want you guys to pay attention here with this seasoning because i do not season quite often i'm gonna put the ingredients on the screen for you here uh, so you can see exactly what they are but i never measure seasoning and i don't think anyone should my method is to cover everything on top until i want to see every piece of my seasoning so see that garlic powder chili powder i come in with i come in with a little bit of parsley doesn't have a taste but it looks good and in this one you're really not going to see it paprika i love a little bit of that that does not have flavor but it does add smoke and of course i like a little bit of heat with some red hot chili pepper flakes and you see how that's just coated everything douse it with a little bit of evoo and then you're going to turn it spin it twist it ride it you know what i mean um and you're gonna really try to break up those onions and squeeze those bell peppers that's where a lot of that flavor comes in when you're marinating and that olive oil was just used simply for marination purposes. We're going to go ahead and put a little saran wrap on there. I did let that sit for about an hour as I watched Baddies West. If you're not watching that, check it out on Zeus Network. Um, and now you want to go in. I preferably like a cast iron skillet. Uh, extremely hot. I love it smoking. And then you just drop it in. Don't turn it. Let it sit there. Let it sear on the other side. These are some of the ingredients that I'm gonna put in with it, but check these mushrooms out. Completely frozen, solid as a rock. I was very, very upset until I started slicing and saw just how perfect the slices were. And I thought, wow, maybe that's the trick to get the perfect mushroom slice is to freeze them. Because if they're not frozen, if you cut mushrooms, you know it can be pretty daunting. So 
this uh, turned out okay. And I, they sauteed up pretty well. And I now think I am going to freeze my mushrooms. But my stupid refrigerator was... I don't know what happened, but I was so upset because I really wanted to put some of that Greek yogurt on my bowl. Everybody knows I love Greek yogurt and it was frozen solid, uh, which is why the bell pepper was frozen. I pre-made this rice a little bit earlier, just uh, just seasoned it with a little bit of salt and pepper and of course some butter. I don't think there's anything better than white rice with butter. Like it is so good. And this is me taking a few spoonfuls. Don't mind. Yes, I am going back and forth with that fork, but this is my food. Nobody's eating with me. All right. Here is our pepper and steak getting a little bit ready. Some people can take it out like this. I preferably like a little bit more uh, burned scarring. What is it called? Yeah, I like it a little bit more burnt. But look at those perfect uh, mushroom cuts. Mushrooms are done. All right. Um, just saute them with a little bit of salt and pepper and that extra virgin olive oil. Here's our meat all done and ready to go. Let me taste it. All right, nice and tender. You see how some of those pieces are burnt? That's what you're looking for. Now, to assemble my bowl, what I do is a little bit of rice. Well, not a little bit, because I should have stopped right there, but there you go. All right, and another one, okay. Um, you wanna just base it with a little bit of rice. Of course, you're gonna go ahead and throw your steak on top with those onions and bell peppers. Come in with a little bit of mushroom. I personally just love a bowl, and I love pico de gallo, so I put pico in mine. You can stop right at the mushrooms if you like. Uh, I went a little overboard with the pico and it had jalapeno in it. And of course, what that lady on TikTok said, don't go down easy if it ain't cheesy. And there you have it. I hope you guys try this dish. It's really good. Bye.